going on guys coming at you on the video here so um my car right now is approaching like thirty-two thousand miles believe it or not i think it's like 30 let me check the mileage on it mileage on this car is thirty-one thousand five hundred fifty-five miles so let me tell you the good the bad and the ugly for this car um the good is like this car is paying itself off with me at least meaning um with my car payment that i have the money the, the how, how expensive gas is and you know i go to places where, where i charge for free um it's pretty much paying itself off it's good that's the good it's good i like the way it looks i like the way it rides hold on i like the way it rides I like the way it feels i like the way it looks i like the color on it that's the good you know interiors i, I like i like the interior on how it is um interior is nice uh, my car is my car is dirty it's a mess but the interior the interior is nice i like it um the bad is just l like little things like the recalls that's having you know um they had to get a recall for my car for the windshield um and they had a, they had my car for like two weeks um secondly there was a battery voltage issue and when they took out the battery, they had my car for three weeks and they didn't put it back right as you can see here there's that um it's horrible they put adhesive they're, 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 gonna, they're gonna fix this though Ford's gonna fix that um and then on this side is that this part is not aligned you know so it's just things like that with the recalls it's one thing after another that's that's the bad um and also another bad is this also um the um it's expensive for for what it is Meaning like, I'm gonna think it breaks soon. It's gonna be like $1,000 just to do the front part of the brakes. I'm gonna do a video on that. I'll, I'll get the brakes, but, but that's also another bad. Um, the parts for this car, like the brakes, cabin air filter, um, little things like that, because this car's on an engine, little things like that is what is what um, is more expensive and hard to get because the demand for this is so is so, is so high. Also, another bad thing is the, um, is the weight of the car behind is so much, meaning from here to right here to the back, it weighs so much to where uh, my back tires um, is is gone. Like I have barely any threading. This is actually pretty dangerous to drive. Um, this week I'm gonna grab some um, new tires for the back. But you know, if you can see the president's head, I forgot the name of this president oh, right there. If you can see his head and his forehead, I mean, that's when you need new um, new tires. As you can see there, there's no threading whatsoever. You can see the head clearly. Now compared to this side, see how that is the front it has plenty of threading as you can even see so that's that's what the um the bad part of it all the ugly part is just the weight of it i rotated my tires i did everything but obviously the back had better um had the back had more more weight to it so i have to get new back tires instead of new front tires are all all around now, the ugly part about this car is just it's Honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's um, it's a Ford. It's a Ford. Meaning Ford, they don't care about their customers. As I said, they um, I, when they replaced the windshield, they have I had my car was gone for two weeks. They gave me a Nissan Versa rental car, you know. Um, and then when they had the battery voltage issue, they had my car for three weeks, you know. And the ugly part of it all is just like they just don't care about customers. That's what really Ford is. They made it such a beautiful car, a great car, I believe. You know, believe it or not, people are thinking, oh, it's a Mustang. Why is a Mustang all electric? I'm not gonna get into that. All right. But that's like the ugly part is just how Ford does not care about their customers, you know. Um, and also meaning like, for example, like I told Ford about this, you know, I'm like little nitpicky about these type of things where this is misaligned. The other side, it's misaligned just like this. It wasn't like this when I bought it. And it all happened after the high battery voltage recall where they had to take, where they literally, this is the battery right here, where they had to take all this out. You know, everything got misaligned. And if the guy says, people at Ford is telling me, well, that's just the way the car is, you know. Um, that's, that's is not right. You know, it's a $55,000 car and that's just how they, they treat you like, like, like a scumbag. But again, it is Ford. Um, things like this, you know, like, um, like the paint, that's, that's not even dirt. That's just the paint already problems. I, I think when they had the voltage issue, when I turned in, they put on the lift and, um, it hit the, hit something. But um, Ford said they're gonna they're gonna cover that they, they they're gonna fix that 
but they told me not to go in for a few weeks because they're uh, they're busy doing other stuff and again that's just the ugly part of it it's just they just don't they just simply do not care um about the customers it's just really really bad i mean that, that's just ford you know that's just how they are um but i mean my car is approaching thirty two thousand miles um, it's, it's pretty, it's honestly, I can't really complain too much about it. I, again, I, I, I drive so much to where and how expensive gas prices are. This car is paying itself off and it's putting money in my bank. So it's like either spend 800 bucks a month on gas or, uh, 600 bucks on my, on my car payment, you know? So, so it's, it's a pretty easy, um, pretty easy deal or pretty easy decision on that. Um, and I, I said in my other video and also like another ugly, I mean, my, my car is dirty, but it's just. Um, the paint on this car, the paint, um, on this car, they're just so cheap, like super cheap. Any nicks it gets, it's already, it's already, um, it's already scratched dented, you know? So with that being said, I'll catch you guys later.